Now, uh, just curious, uh, if I'm not allowed to be in the water, if I had like a magnet on the side, could I do something like that? No. No? No, that's any still, still safe. Oh, any, any contact. Any water contact. Okay, understood, got it. Where he needs to go. Yeah, because I, I promise we're, we're legit. Like, this is what we do. We're not okay. we're not just like reckless kids playing, yeah. <laughs> playing around. Downtown. <laughs> what is going on, guys? It's Brandon Jay, and today we're going to be searching for treasure here at the San Antonio River Walk. This is one of the most urban rivers here in Texas, and uh, there is so much stuff here. There are people going through all the time. There's little tour boats. Hey, guys. <laughs> and just by our ride over here, I can tell I'm the only person that's ever been in a wetsuit in San Antonio, Texas here. People are going crazy. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Who knows what we could find? Maybe something from somebody walking on the side, throwing something in. Maybe somebody that dropped something off a boat. This is like 24 hours a day they're doing this. So there's absolutely no telling. The best way to uh, navigate the city, find the best dive spots, I think, is rim one of these birds. So we're going to ride this baby around and see what kind of cool place we can find. Do some wheelies, too. This has got to be one of the strangest ways I've ever got to a treasure spot. Yo! <laughs> All right, coming up tight. Look at that. We got the river, my scooter, me, my buddy. Oh, oh, we got a oh god. All right, so we're coming up on our first spot here. I don't even know if this has a name. We'll, we'll name it the San Antonio River. Uh, but this is uh, one of the first spots where we're able to see and uh, actually looks pretty clear. Bro, it's perfect. <laughs> so perfect. Oh, he took off. All right, <laughs> what's not good is how silty that bottom is. I might just like sink to the bottom. Have yeah. you ever seen anybody swim in it? Not voluntarily. Would you say, would you say it's pretty nasty? I was sure if I fell in, I'd want to make sure I kept my mouth closed. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what I figured. Well, it was great talking to you. Hey, it's a pleasure. Yes, sir, Take you have care. a good one. I don't think I've ever been this nervous, dude. I don't think I've ever been this nervous. We're at the first spot, we're about to dive in here. I think we're gonna have to bob and weave those like tour boats. That's gonna be our main issue. If we get kicked out, it's because of the tour boats for sure. Just not sure, like, I'm just <laughs> nervous. I'm like actually nervous. Yeah. All of my treasure hunting has led to this moment right here. Guys, if I get put in jail, Go to jiggingwithjordan.com. Please buy some merch so I can bail myself out. And I'm giving away a truck, so every $20 spent counts as an entry towards my truck. I'm giving it away December 1st. Hopefully I'm not in jail then. The thing is, I'm freaking out and I don't even know if it's illegal or not. You know, I just like, I'm just going for it. All right, brother. First dive in the most urban place we've ever been. <laughs> I'll see you guys at the bottom. I got a little shoe, I got some kind of metal thing, and I got a chair. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Dude, there's a, a thing of like 10,000 beads over here. It's all tangled up. <laughs> bro, <laughs> bro, <laughs> we got an iPhone. We got an iPhone. <laughs> what are the odds? Oh no, we got the cops too. <laughs> What's that? Uh, no sir. We're just cleaning out all this stuff. Alright, I got you. I'm just gonna set this stuff up here.
Sorry about that, man. I really didn't know. Where that? Where? Uh, I, I, I'm gonna be quite honest with you. I, I, this is just what we do for a living. I just kind of thought there's a body of water we're allowed to be in. No. So we just make. Uh, well, I know it doesn't make it better. I'm just uh, giving you some backstory while we're here. We uh, travel all around the world. We dive in really popular places where people lose things. Clean it up along the way. Show that on the, uh, the internet. So it's just what we do. So, gotcha. Understood. What's your last name? Jordan. J O R D A N. J O R D A N. Like Michael Jordan, but a lot less cool. What's your first name? Brandon. B R A N D O N. What's your date of birth? 1024. You, you know your driver's license number? Sorry, what was that? You know your driver's license number? Uh, Travis, do you have my wallet? Oh. The, sorry, this this guy's with me. He, uh, <clears throat> just records. Oh, you're gonna be out with him? I assume you didn't have your wallet because... Oh, <laughs> no, I, I, I have my, uh, my backup. <laughs> yeah, I got you right here. Sorry to cause problems, man. I promise. <laughs> I wasn't out here to, to mess anything up. We just make videos where we just, like, clean stuff up and... We travel, we're from Florida, we've kind of been all over the US and yeah, jigging with Jordan on YouTube. If you've ever seen anybody like find guns, return them to the police, iPhones, return them to the owner, that's us. So, just found that out. <laughs> so I, I, I do apologize, I, I promise we're not trying to be reckless. We kind of go in and make our videos and kind of like do good deeds and clean up. It's kind of like our undertone, so. Well, you did you did catch me just in time where at least I got the phone. So we did get something cool. But <laughs> now, uh, just curious, uh, if I'm not allowed to be in the water, if I had like a magnet on the side, could I do something like that? No. 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 It's still still. Safe. Oh, any contact. Any water contact. Okay. Understood. Got it. So what they usually do is they flush the water out every right. other year. Okay. And then they come around and they pick up whatever they find. Is there any way I could get a contract through the city to do something like that? Because I, I promise we're, we're legit. Like this is what we do. We're not. Okay. We're not just like reckless kids playing, yeah. <laughs> playing around. Uh, this is your warning. Yes, sir. Because yeah, next time I'm gonna have to give you a ticket. Yes, sir. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. All right. Understood. Thank you All so right. much. Y'all take care. Thank you. All right. Well. Dang. <laughs> As you guys obviously know. We're not allowed to be in the water, let alone touch the water, which just kind of like leaves us at a standstill here. Um, I'm not really sure what to do, but big shout out to San Antonio police, um, especially if it's like the metro unit or maybe just like this city unit here. Super, super nice. Um, I think they knew that I wasn't trying to be like malicious or do anything really bad. Um, and they kind of got what I was doing. I was just picking up trash. So they were very cool, very nice. The problem is also is I cannot even throw a magnet in here, which was kind of like our backup plan to just kind of like magnet fish. Do you mind being on this at all? Uh, well, I do. I actually run the film office. So I was oh, wondering if you guys went yeah. to our office to get a film permit. No, can we not <laughs> film here? Yeah, you're supposed to have permission oh, to film. Oh, yeah. no, I'm sorry. We just got told we can't be in the water here too. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> all right, ladies and gents, we are taking fat L's all over today honestly was the most stoked I've ever been for a video like it, this just meant everything this is a place I've never been before a city I've never been to before I pull up it's just huge buildings and skyscrapers and traffic there was even a horse that was jogging down the road is incredible I come out to this river I just see how polluted it is I was like man we could make not only such a sick video here but we could actually like clean up so much stuff like literally hundreds of pounds of trash is here Obviously we get stopped by the cops and then we're talking about that. And then we get stopped by another lady uh, who says we can't even film without a film permit. So it's like all over the place. Cops, super nice. They did not have to be. I could have got a serious ticket and or jail probably for this. Uh, they gave me a verbal warning, very nice. Uh, the lady who talked about the film permit, uh, also very nice, gave me all the instructions, was not mean at all. So everyone was super, super nice. And I feel like that's kind of like a Texan thing. It's kind of what I've noticed over the trip, but I cannot say I'm not like extremely like disappointed and like heartbroken, man. Like 
this is it. Like this is where I could make a five video series on this river in the city, just finding so much stuff. Like in a course of like two to three minutes, I already found a phone. Like I just know there's so much stuff here and there's a lot of food left on the table as far as the spot goes, but I'm gonna need your help. I am gonna reach out to the city. I'm gonna try to get the permit or whatever I need to actually be able to dive in here. I just know it could be so cool and there's like literally no telling what we could find. I found a chair that I couldn't even pull out that was covered in like probably 10,000 beads, just unreal. So I really wanna do it. I really wanna be a part of this, but I may need you guys' help. So if you could follow me on Instagram, it's gonna be linked in the description below. That way, when I do file for the permit, I can have you guys back me and maybe we all reach out to the city together. I mean, we're not doing anything bad here. We're just trying to clean up and create cool videos along the way. And uh, I think we can make something really cool here, but I'm gonna need your help. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by jiggingwithjordan.com, which by the way, that's me. <laughs> but on a real note, we are giving a truck away to one of you guys December 1st. How you enter is going to jiggingwithjordan.com. Every $20 you spend counts as one entry. $20, one entry, $40, two entries, so on and so forth. We're giving away a 2012 Toyota Tacoma, which is black on black. So we decided to come up with black on black merch. We call it the Midnight Series, which is also available. It's all gonna be linked in the description below. One of you guys is gonna win that truck December 1st. It's one heck of a prize. So go into the description, check it out. Now let's get back to the video. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Here's the moment you guys have been waiting for. These are the finds for today. Obviously there's not a ton, but one of those is this trusty dusty chair. If I sit on that. Yeah, I'm not sitting on that. That's gonna be disgusting. I was going to, but I decided not to. So we got the chair. We've got this thing right here. Now there, like I said, there are boats that like come in and out of this area. So I'm thinking this is probably like some type of head of a trolling motor. Could be wrong, but if you guys know in the comment section below, let me know, cause I really just don't know. See, if you zoom in on this right here, you zoom in here, it says, do not carry spot lever, Stanley commercial. No idea, so if you guys know what this is, let me know in the comment section below. Not really sure. Next up, we got a little shoe. Not a big shoe, just a little baby shoe. Uh, just a little kid's converse, I don't know. <laughs> After this, we've got Oh, there's a shell in there. Uh, what I thought was a wallet underwater, turns out it's just some type of like plastic covering. Maybe someone had like their ID or like maybe a passport in this thing. Um, but uh, I don't know, it's kind of disappointing. Not a wallet. I just got nervous, dude. I'm not doing anything wrong. I look back the cop, the same cop is there. I'm like, okay. <laughs> This was one of the first finds, and honestly, I thought this was a casing, like uh, from a rifle or something like that. Uh, turns out it's not, um, but then again, it's one of those items where I don't really know what that is, so. Travis, you don't know this, but I was underwater and I found this airhead, and a little bit of like ooze came out. This used to be red, it looks orange. And then I went like this and went whoosh, and just red went everywhere. It was like a little baby explosion. It was absolutely hilarious. It sounds disgusting. Yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> not gonna lie, man, I, I was closing my mouth. I didn't want any of that. And of course, the banger, all four minutes that we were in the water. So lucky we found this. It saved today's video is we actually did find an old iPhone. Now, this thing is extremely old. It is super weathered. Um, it is in a case that looks like maybe it was a waterproof case. I'm not really sure, but uh, we're gonna try to open this thing. I just wanna check the back because sometimes people keep their ID in it. And how funny would it be after like two years of this guy losing his phone? We find the ID and we call them back. I cannot get this. I think it might just be one piece now. Yeah, it's just literally like rusted together. Dang, that's so unfortunate. But how cool is that? This has to be one of the oldest phones I've ever found. Oh, a shell just fell out of it. <laughs> put, put that back in the river. They have a lot smaller trash cans than the treasure we found, but we're just gonna prop it up here. As you guys know, like in any of the treasure videos we do, we keep all the electronics and try to find the owners to them. This iPhone's gone. But all the trash we find along the way, we actually throw away. So we're just like trying to clean up the rivers. That's like the undertone of all of our videos. It's cool to show you guys like all of the uh, iPhones and all like the cool stuff along the way. But at the end of the day, you know, it's about cleaning up. Also, if you hear those bells, <laughs> there's a giant like clock tower and uh, it's one o'clock. Which also means we gotta move our truck because we gotta be out of our parking spot at 101. <laughs> no way! 
Dude, this is insane. You are wearing my merch? Yeah. Whoa, thank you so much. What's your name? Melanie. So nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. Oh my gosh, dude, this is crazy. Did you just see our story on Instagram? Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I'm I'm like starstruck. I don't even know what to say. Thank you so much. Let's do something special. Here, let's go over to my truck. I got some merch in my truck I'd love to give you. Would you rock something like that? Mm -hmm. You cool with that one? Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you so much. This is my million shirt? Yeah. This is so special. Thank you. No, Break the law. Come on. It's not jaywalking if you're birding. It's jay, jay birding. You're a blue jay. <laughs> Look at that speed. Just in case you didn't know, it's hot. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I know you're playing yes, you know. Who's, Who's that? Jake. Jake? Yeah, man. Hi, Jake Paul. No, no, not Jake Paul. <laughs> wrong, wrong Jake. I, I <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is going to pretty much wrap it up for today's video. Honestly, all over the place. But I've got to say, my first day in San Antonio, very eventful. Came out, got to see the city, got to ride around on birds. Sounds weird. Scooters. And uh, we're lucky enough to dive in for about four to five minutes, find some cool stuff. And uh, we ended up getting a phone. We didn't get a bunch of treasure, but I did reach out to my team and we're gonna try to get in contact with San Antonio to try to get the permit to legally do this, legally film it, make a whole big spectacle out of it. Um, so uh, again, I might need your help to just kind of push that forward and just show that like we're doing good. We're not just crazy people trying to like stir up trouble in the city, that's not our goal. So if you'll do me a favor, go to my link in the description below. It'll be my Instagram. I will update you guys on my stories and posts. Uh, so you guys can kind of know like how you can help uh, help me accomplish this in the future. With that being said, that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna enjoy this nice cold beverage. It's water because we're really dehydrated. And uh, yeah, that's the Texas tour. Make sure to visit jiggawithjordan.com, buy some merch, help support our journey, and uh, I'm giving one of you guys a truck in return on December 1st. Let's get a ride on one of those ferries. What do you think? Yeah, That'd be sure. a good time. All right, see you on the next one. Peace out, guys. You know it's bad when you're jealous of a duck because he's actually allowed in the water and uh, you're not, you know? <laughs> if only I was a duck. <laughs>